Bless fam, another day, another read. Welcome back to the garden. Let's see what's going on. Let's see where we're at, what we need to know, what we need to be mindful of, what we're working on, what we're struggling through. What is it that we need to know? Let's take a deep breath. Yeah, let's take a deep breath. Just a deep breath. You know, like a... We're going to lamaze our way through it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're going to lamaze our way through it. Yes, we will. We absolutely will. Why? Because we're actually moving a lot further than we wanted to give ourselves credit for. As painful as the Three of Swords looks, in reverse, it gives us a positive push forward. It allows us to rest. It allows us to take our time and to reflect with intention and to not just be thrashed about in the feels, right? We are taking a very analytical approach to something deeply emotional, which means we're ready to heal it. We're able to see beyond it. So we're already winning. <laughs> Look at that. The Three of Swords came out first, and baby, we already winning. Let's see. Let's see. But we're really winning, though. Oh, but I didn't realize we're really winning. Oh, okay, so things are going fine in terms of work, in terms of not having a shortage in creativity, in terms of not having a shortage in personal power and agency, in terms of I'm really good at what I do, whatever it is, even if I'm not sure exactly how to get there or how to do it. This is the type of confidence that gets you the type of rewards that can never be challenged. Like your greatness and who you are and what you do is starting to shine through. So why is it that we are so tender and, and feeling so vulnerably painful right now? Ooh, because we're exposed. <laughs> the exposures, you know, the lights are bright. The lights can be very, very, very bright when you're this scene. Wow. Hello, my creative. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the arena. Welcome to your world. And congratulations for allowing yourself. And if you haven't already, let it be a beautiful testimony to allow yourself to accept the identity of your creative persona. Like I said, we're taking a very analytical approach to something deeply emotional. Who you are as a creative, you know, we're talking about content creators and all these buzzwords, but at the end of the day, we are all creatives. We are all nature. We are here to exist. And in our existence brings forth creation, yeah? Virgos know this incredibly well, extremely well. There is a separation between the two processes of thinking and feeling. There's a separation of who you are as a creative in this world and how you're meant to create and share, but also how you're meant to exist because you can't commodify your heart. So how do we allow that beautiful creative energy to flow and also be lucrative in our life? Also give us the security that we need A lot of us are really playing with the idea of taking the leap of faith on ourselves, on betting on ourselves, on, on doing the passion project, on allowing ourselves to go after the big role. Understand that that is a personal victory first. Before you can go out there and get that job that you know you're qualified for, but that scares you to death, you have to first overcome the parts of yourself that feel like you are not equipped for it. And you've been doing a lot of deep work, actually. And now's the time. Take this as your sign. It's, it's your time to move forward. It's your time to put yourself out there. It's your time to be seen. 
Look at how the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords anchors the read. Do you see that? And especially if I'm talking to mutable energy, you know, Gemini, Sag, Pisces, Virgo, we're wishy-washy in this. We feel super confident some days and super just, nobody look at me, I'm ill-equipped, I'm not prepared. You get to choose which of those energies grow. You get to choose which of those energies mature and flourish. And there's something here. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I get it. I get it. We don't even want to talk about it. <clears throat> excuse me. There's something here about first, first accepting the fact that the personal part of the healing, while it's not done, the majority of it has been completed. This part of the healing is in public. This part of the, the healing is to be seen. And we really don't want that. <laughs> a lot of us, you know what it is? It's not even that we don't want that. We want to be seen, but we want to be seen by the right people. We want to be seen with love. We want to be held. We don't have, want to have to prove ourselves. We don't want to be met with vitriol. We don't want to feel any worse than we already are. We don't want the criticism. But look at how spirit is strengthening you. When you rectify that pain and that harsh self-criticism from within, nothing can pierce that heart after. It doesn't matter what people say. You are healing up the parts of the heart that is looking for any type of external validation because as you grow within your platform, within your mission, as you are more visible and as deeper criticism comes, it's impenetrable to you. Wow, so we're building armor. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so we're building armor. I see. No, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Because <laughs> look, look why. Look why. You got a lot of um, projects ahead of you. You got a lot of big things. I hear that a lot of you guys are writing books. A lot of you guys are writing books and sequels to things. A lot of us are going to be documenting things. I'm talking to the writers, to the poets, to the singers, to those who are using the throat chakra, to the educators, to those who have knowledge and wisdom and within their embodiment and teaching can share and inspire with the world. Like we are stepping up. That's who I'm speaking to. We are stepping up and you guys are already being celebrated. <laughs> I'm hearing we're already being celebrated. We're thinking that we need to be on such a higher level before we could ever be recognized in spirits. Like, I'm working through you now. I'm working through you now. I'm sending you opportunities now. Things that you don't feel equipped for, but in fact, you've already transmuted. You've already done the work. This is just a matter of having confidence, my love. This is just a matter of trusting yourself. Mm-hmm. Being gentle and tender with yourself because the healing has emboldened you. All of that healing work that you've done in your solitary cave, all of the battles that you've won that nobody knows anything about, it has made you perfectly into this version and form of self. And now this version and form of self in its creation still is ready to be witnessed. It's ready to be seen. You're ready to be seen. Ooh. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. So what do we need to know in terms of you being ready to be seen in all of your glory? Oh, oof. <laughs> How perfect. SubhanAllah. How perfect. I possess gifts of the souls that benefit me and others. Self-esteem. This is why it's important to be seen. Because people are depending on your energy. People you've never met, people you've never seen. People you probably will never meet or see. But that your work, your energy, your creation, your contribution to the collective, it will nourish them. It will help them heal on their journeys. And how beautiful is that? By you embodying your authentic light and beauty having beautiful self-esteem and a choosing to exist 
in that authenticity and share that authenticity, you help. You help raise, you help rise, you help heal. What a gift you are. What a gift you are. Please be gentle with yourself. This is gentle work as much as it is deep, intense work too. But remember that self-esteem is the esteem of yourself, as Cat Williams says, okay? Can't nobody control it but you. Don't let anybody control this but you. You set it at 100 and you keep it there. And you laugh at anything trying to pull you out of that. Don't give them the permission. They don't have clearance. They don't have the access codes to get into that control room. You do. Guard your self-esteem, my love. You are ready to be seen and your people need you. I love you.